Dr. Sukho, Director General of the Open University of Mauritius, Dr. Jean-Marie Leclésieux, Nobel Prize Laureate, graduates, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. What a great morning indeed it is for all of you graduates present here today. We are assembled here today for the celebration of your successful completion of studies and this in the presence of proud and supportive family members. Heartiest congratulations to all of you, award recipients and graduates. Congratulations are also in order for the Open University of Mauritius for carrying out the first convocation ceremony of its young history. The Open University has really done things in a big way by conferring today an honorary doctorate to the honoris causa on an eminent personality. Mesdames et Messieurs, je me permets de vous adresser ces quelques mots en français. Nous avons aujourd'hui l'immense privilège et grand honneur d'avoir parmi nous une personnalité illustre qui a permis à l'île Maurice de briller de mille feux sur le plan mondial. Votre présence parmi nous, Dr Jean-Marie Leclésio, donne un aura exceptionnel à cette fonction, et pas uniquement parce que vous êtes une personnalité phare dans le monde littéraire, mais aussi parce que vous avez su garder votre âme mauricienne malgré la grande renommée que vous avez acquise au fil des temps. En effet, mesdames et messieurs, le nom du docteur Jean-Marie de Clésio a une, a une résonance internationale. C'est là un prix agréable, je présume, à payer pour avoir été reconnu comme une sommité littéraire et donc le récipiendaire de prix Nobel. Mais au-delà de tout cela, il est réconfortant de voir que ce grand monsieur a toujours revendiqué haut et fort et avec une certaine fierté son identité mauricienne. Un tel acte de reconnaissance de sa part ne peut être pour nous qu'une source d'inspiration, voire même de modèle pour tous les jeunes ici présents. Mon vœu en tant que ministre de l'Éducation nationale est que beaucoup de nos jeunes émergent pour devenir d'autres Jean-Marie Le Clésio, afin de faire rayonner et briller notre République à travers le monde. Merci encore d'être des nôtres aujourd'hui, Dr. Le Clésio. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a significant milestone, both in your life and in that of the Open University, and obviously there will be many more such occasions that will arise henceforth. I'm tempted to say to all graduates here present that this is just the first convocation ceremony. For most of you, there will be many others. This is because we are living at a time when a diploma or a degree has become the forerunner, the clarion call for lifelong learning. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you nothing new when I say that our global context is characterized by ideas telescoping into one another by a rapid evolution that makes information and knowledge that are brand new today become obsolete tomorrow. We therefore must continuously update our knowledge and skills. The Open University of Mauritius, with its current mandate to also create new opportunities for continuous professional development, is called upon to play an even stronger role in this context. I would like to reassure you that my ministry will do its best to accompany every citizen on this journey of lifelong learning. We shall continue investing as much as we can in education and training. New technology has created the possibility for education and training to offer significantly more pathways, many more bridges and ladders than what we had a few decades ago. I urge all of you to make full use of this diversity of pathways. Dear graduates, Marcel Proust, French novelist, critic, and essayist, has this well-known quote to his credit. The real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new lands, but in, seeking, in seeing with new eyes. I believe Mauritius is fated to do both, apply and reassess existing knowledge, 
as well as generate new knowledge. Government's stated policy, as you well know, is to leverage the higher education system so as to develop Mauritius into an economy based on knowledge. This places a major onus on the tertiary education sector to transform the country into a knowledge hub that attracts international tertiary education providers and a larger number of international students. But there is always a conditionality attached. These providers have to demonstrate their commitment to quality and high standards if they wish to genuinely help the country achieve international recognition. And that means fulfilling the threefold, threefold sorry, objectives of higher education, namely the transmission of knowledge, the generation of knowledge through research, and the application of knowledge in the economy at large. At this particular moment, I would want to dwell on the desirability, even the obligation, of our tertiary education sector to create new knowledge. If you scan the global environment, you will realize that there is a new category of inequity that has become rampant today, an inequity that drives a wedge between two groups of countries. On the one hand, we have some countries, a minority, but still a powerful minority that are in the forefront of knowledge and content production. They are constantly creating new knowledge, attracting the best brains from different countries, an intellectual elite who can reinforce, consolidate, and sustain their preeminence in knowledge generation. On the other hand, we have other societies, the larger majority, that are primarily consumers and end users of the same content. Dr. Jean-Marie Lecluisio will confirm that the gap between the two is widening and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a matter of concern. This begs the question, how much of knowledge creation is effectively take, taking place in our country? One of the transformations I want to bring in the tertiary education sector is to promote a vibrant research culture and a purposeful research community. We know both are primordial to raise the profile of Mauritius as an international study center and to lay the foundation for a knowledge hub. And the Open University of Mauritius will undoubtedly have a cardinal role to play here. Dear graduates, I'm pleased that in our quest to offer affordable access to quality higher education to all, we now give open and distance learning its rightful place in our system. The significance of online learning as a universal tool for lifelong learning is universally recognized. In fact, you will agree that this flexible learning mode has helped learners like you to access education without causing major disruption to work and family life. This functional utility of ODL has also been recently recognized by Commonwealth Ministers of Education at their 19th conference held in the Bahamas only two weeks ago. This new panoply of course delivery, face-to-face, -face, online, mixed mode or blended learning, reinforces the recognition of the benefits of degrees and diplomas so as to establish a sustainable knowledge economy. But we should not also forget the benefits of higher education and the benefits that higher education brings to the individuals. The OECD in its 2014 Education at a Glance report reports that in the highly industrialized countries, someone graduating from a vocational college earns 30% more than the OECD average, while the figure for a university graduate is 70% more. Now, what does that mean? It simply means that the more we earn, the more we learn, the more we earn. 
I can understand your feelings regarding the accumulation of knowledge. It does open an entry route into the world of work, especially if it is aligned with industry demands. I can thus appreciate this is a powerful incentive for all of you. This also explains the innovation of Open University of Mauritius in being one of the first local universities to offer employability skills to its graduates. However, we should be careful. Building a high-performing education system that is primarily work-centric is certainly important, but it is never adequate. It has to be complemented by a strong array of values. Remember, graduates, that no matter how professionally successful you are tomorrow, you need to incarnate some values that will define you and your existence. A selfless sense of sharing, of altruism, and considerate attention for those less privileged than you is one such value. An effortless sense of incorruptibility is another because it underscores a streak of integrity. And you must make of we the most important pronoun in your vocabulary and I the least important, and that despite most of you having been brought up on the I, me, myself culture. Finally, graduates, I will exhort you to always seek out and engage with people who have opinions different from yours. I will allow myself to paraphrase the words of the First Lady of the USA, Michelle Obama, addressing graduates of the East Kentucky University in 2013. She stressed the virtue of engaging with others with an open mind and an open heart. But the caveat is that, ideally, these should be people who do not share the same views as our own, lest, as she said, we get stuck in our ways. I, too, believe we need to have people around us who contradict our individual worldview. I certainly hope that you sus subscribe to this view as well, for remember, Democracy thrives on the acceptance of differences and not on blinkered uniformity. On this last note, I wish you graduates all the best in your career and warm congratulations to all of you once again. Happy graduation day to all of you and thank you all for your kind attention.